All right, this is a little uh, custom text formatting for ActionScript 3.0. Um, this is just a sample video showing you bits and pieces of what's a part of the entire tutorial. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop you in about halfway in part two where we're uh, setting up for a custom scroll bar. Get our text tool and just kind of make sure we got some dynamic text set up. All right, make sure your multi-line and your um, selectable you can choose whatever you want here I'm gonna make it so it's uh, not selectable and let's see what kind of size should I give this Maybe, uh something like that shrink it up a little bit let's see what I'm looking for is more of a 200 height Getting closer. Should be good enough for now. Yeah, there we go. Let me see if I can get that down a notch. There we go. All right. Um, the width, really not important on this one. We'll be able to uh, dress it up on the stage a little bit later. But for now, I just kind of want to get through this. So let's go ahead and apply an instance name to this. All right. So let's call this text underscore field. All right. And get this out of here. Come up to our actions layer. And let's go ahead and bring on our actions. And in this one, we got a, quite a bit of action script to write. And this is sort of a cool way to do the uh, stop and start drag. All right, so um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set this up to uh, go and get our file path. All right, so let's say var text underscore file path colon string equals. And for this one, I'm going to use my... Uh, Constitution text file here. All right. So if you want to use that, go ahead. Uh, it's going to say uh, constitution underscore text dot txt. Closing quotation marks, semicolon. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, set up the loading. Var text underscore loader colon URL loader equals new. Second time I've done that. New URL loader. And that's if you've been watching part one and part two. Uh, opening, closing parentheses, semicolon. All right. And we're going to say text loader. So we can add the event listener. And we're going to say event.complete, uh, comma. We'll say when text load underscore completes. Closing parentheses, semicolon, text loader dot load all right we're gonna say new URL request uh, we need to reference our file path so let's say uh, text underscore file path closing parentheses closing parentheses semicolon all right so let's tell it what to do once it's loaded All right, so we're going to say function win underscore text underscore load underscore completes. All right, that's event, colon, event with a capital E, closing parentheses, colon, void, opening bracket. All right, so we're going to say text underscore field dot text equals event dot current target dot data as string semicolon next line closing bracket let's begin by setting up the housing or boundaries that our slider MC which you don't know what that is yet drags in all right and I figured in a second we'll go ahead and create the art for this but I just kind of wanted to get started and hop into some of this action script so you can kind of see what we're gonna be doing here so uh, the housing for this is going to be var scroll underscore housing colon. I'm going to draw a rectangle. All right. We're not going to draw it, but we're going to use it based on a rectangle. All right. So new rectangle. Opening parentheses. We're going to say slider MC, which is going to be the actual thing you can grab onto and drag up and down. All right. Dot X comma slider underscore MC dot Y comma zero. 
comma 200 because that's the height that the uh, text box is going to be all right and we're just going to set the boundaries of it to drag up and down 200 pixels okay and we just need to set the boolean here so let's say idea underscore of underscore dragging boolean you can consider this the idea of dragging all right more or less dragging um, all right, so I'll get into this in a minute. Um, give you something to think about while we're uh, drawing up our art. Okay, it's the definition of it. And uh, I'll leave you at that. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and sort of, uh, I guess, draw our scroll bar design. That is the end of the custom text formatting sample video. To find source files and view the entire tutorial, go ahead and head towards masterflash.net. Hope you enjoy it.